and welcome to yet another exciting edition of Economic Forum. I'm your host, Cynthia Jikaramba. It is good to have you along. Zimbabwe is aiming to attain an upper middle class economy by the year 2030, hence the need for human capital development to make this a dream come true. However, deaths through road traffic accidents have been a major threat to human capital in Zimbabwe. The campaign against road traffic accidents requires a collective approach from both public and private sectors and the media which has been playing a critical role in road safety awareness. As a result, the Traffic Safety Council of Zimbabwe saw it fit to award outstanding journalists at the seventh edition of the Road Safety Journalistic Awards held in Harare under the theme towards the inculcation of a road safety culture through generating thinking road users. The event which was attended by government officials and other stakeholders in the transport sector saw journalists walking away with prizes from various categories. As reflected by the theme of this award ceremony, we must indeed cal inculcate a road safety culture among every road user. This is achieved by ensuring that everyone is conscious about the act of using the road in whatever form, pedestrian, driver, passenger, cyclist, or motorcyclist. We must all polish our attitudes and always be road safety conscious. The media are a key stakeholder in generating such thinking road users. Here in Zimbabwe, there is a road traffic collision on our roads every 15 minutes. An average of five people lose their lives and 38 others are injured on our roads every day. Deaths and injuries due to preventable road traffic collisions are unacceptable. Road safety is a collective duty. We must desist from blame game and unite against road traffic deaths, injury, and property damage. Ladies and gentlemen, comrades and friends, we must appreciate government efforts to making our roads safer through road construction and rehabilitation that is ongoing in each province countrywide. Our government's concern for the safety of its people is indisputable. Along the Arare Bed Bridge Highway, there is dualization work in progress at Beatrice, Mvuma, Bubi, and Masingo. Such government efforts must then be complemented by responsible road usage. Drivers must desist from excessive and inappropriate speeds, as well as unlicensed driving. The most effective road traffic enforcement is behavior change by all road users. The war against road traffic deaths, injury, and property damage requires all of us to play our various complementary roles. These partnerships and collaborations speak to our national vision 2030's Pillar 5, which encourages developmental cross-linkages. Therefore, my office is open for road safety business. The city of Harare, transport operators, driving schools, drivers, bus conductors, ministries of health, home affairs and transport, and others not mentioned here. Let us come, come together and reason together in order to make our roads safer for every road user. Together, we can tame the traffic jungle in Zimbabwe. The Minister of Information, Publicity and Broadcasting Services, Honorable Monica Muchangwa, who was the guest of honor at the awards ceremony, applauded the media for raising road safety awareness. Road traffic collisions result in death, injury, property damage, and subsequent psychosocial, economic, and physical suffering of innocent lives. The economic impact of road crashes is also a cause for concern. In low and middle income countries, the cost of road traffic injuries is estimated at up to $100 billion a year. 
ladies and gentlemen, while vehicles and property can be recovered, we cannot recover lost human life. Our government is worried by the fact that more than 90% of fatal road traffic crashes are due to driver errors. Prompt action must be taken against road traffic death. There is no shadow of doubt that the media are a tried and tested tool in creating and sustaining a society's collective consciousness. Indeed, the pen is mightier than the sword. This indelible publicity quality of the media can be harnessed to educate people about the dangers of using the road through in-depth road safety reportage. I implore journalists to highlight the level of driver errors in all the road traffic collisions that they report on. And I must say, the naming and shaming is critical during when they are on the highway. Although road traffic errors are commonly associated with drivers, they can also manifest in pedestrians, animal drovers, passengers, cyclists, and motorbike riders. I would like to appeal to the editorial policies of various media houses to include unpaid for road safety reporters. This will undoubtedly go a long way in sharpening the road safety behavior of the generality of our road users, thereby cultivating an everlasting road safety culture. Indeed, road safety should be everyone's responsibility. Above all, this reporting helps alert responsible authorities on the need to review existing and formulate new road traffic safety laws and policies. Economic Forum takes a short break. Join us in the second segment for more. We are in the second segment of Economic Forum, where we are looking at highlights of the seventh edition of the Road Safety Journalistic Awards held in Harare recently to recognize media practitioners. Traffic Safety Council of Zimbabwe Ambassador Dr. Rebecca Chisamba called for the inculcation of a road safety culture through generating thinking road users. <laughs> kana chitasa zvekufema turi kufunga vanhu nekuti pane vamwe vanoshandisa mumugwagwa wakaita pana sana namupurwa nyoka mazongororo ava vatimbo vatarisira kuti vafunge asi pane zvimwe zvinoratidza kuti nini nemi zvatiri kutaura zvekufunga izvi hatisi kunyatsofunga mati mambo unoheri vakoma nevanofamba vakabhaburwa nemakombi kupi masikati machena zvishiri dzichivaka vakadai vachifamba imimi muripo tese tiripo asi pakufunga vanenge vatadza kufunga toti ngava batsirwe nevamwe mukubatsirana kwedu kufunga isiri kuti vanenge vasiri kuchikaira panguva iyoyo kana muine nharenyu vapikichei ndo technology kaya murutaura dot com generation vana vedu yanditi saka kana mama pikicha mukatora namba dzia tongwe ndisa kumapurisa tagara tichito zvita vazhinji vakatosungwa nazvo saka pakufunga ipapo ngati tei zvimwe zvakadaro tinoona kuti kana vanhu vachinge vasvika pamugwagwa dzimwe ngo vanopererwa vabva kumba pamwe vatonorwa kusina magetsi vageza nemvura yanotonhora vamwe havana kudya hasha dzese dzinoiswa pamugwagwa vachafunga mati mambo vaona vakasvika pa intersection vanovharana vanovharana vanopedza kureso achimoti iwewe hausi kuita iwewe hausi kuita 40 minutes vakamira vese vanonoka vamwe vari kufa nekuziko sekusa zvikoshesa kuenda kumushika shika murume chai ane mudzipa nyota anonogara mumushika shika kumazivanda dzoka hanzi nokuti ndo kana kurumidza kanongopinda nepasiripo kanongopinda nekavasiro kupererwa pfungwa vamwe vanochema chema kana kombi yazara nozvakare gaya zvangu kuti nogara pakadoma ah pakadoma panogarwa nemunhu ipo paipi kuti motikari kaita mabreki munhu anenge ari pakadoma anonoruma manza yemunhu wakatarisana naye naye road safety requires a collective approach hence the presence of the private sector who commended the media for being stewards of road safety awareness. Road accidents are a national challenge with significant 
human and economic costs. We recognize the severity of this challenge and the need for concerted efforts amongst all key stakeholders to contribute knowledge, resources, and innovations to eradicate human error as a leading cause of road traffic accidents. To the journalists we are gathered here for tonight, we commend you for taking seriously the task to inculcate a culture of road safety within the community. Well done, and all the best for tonight. We regard you all as winners. I would like to thank the Traffic Safety Council of Zimbabwe for their good work in reducing road carnage. In line with our Let's Go Zero Harm campaign, we work with the council on encouraging road safety to use through, road, through radio programs during holidays. Technology makes our work and our lives better, convenient, and faster. However, irresponsible use of technology and gadgets may cost you and one and lives of uh, your loved ones. Tonight, we celebrate our partnership with the Traffic Safety Council of Zimbabwe and all of you here to promote the Don't Phone, Text and Drive initiative. We want to encourage you all to drive to stay alive. The United Nations Sustainable Development Goals have set the ambitious target of having the number of deaths and injuries from road traffic crashes by 2020. We are supporting the delivery of the UN SDGs and helping to drive progress forward. We are in a unique position to take a leadership role in bringing people together to improve road safety and make a significant positive impact on our communities. We will continue to work in partnership with the Traffic Safety Council of Zimbabwe to address road safety issues. If, if there are less traffic accidents, then we can save money, which we can use to fund uh, things like this uh, traffic safety, because a percentage of the premium we collect goes into funding uh, this. So we are interested stakeholders because we, we save uh, lives, we save property, so it is very critical. We are not impressed with the number of deaths on our roads. It's as if it's a crime to build good roads because uh, due to human error, more accidents now appear on the road. So we are going to work very hard to sensitize people, to educate people. Economic Forum takes a short break. Do join us in the third and final segment. Welcome to the third and final segment of Economic Forum. The Traffic Safety Council of Zimbabwe Acting Board Chairperson, Dr. Gift Machengete, commended the hosting of such award ceremonies, saying it will go a long way in motivating journalists to do more towards the fight against road traffic accidents. Road safety education through the mass media can be more effective than road safety penalties through enforcement in terms of inculcation of behavior change. The work of journalists in this vein, therefore, resonates well with our mission, our mission of promoting road traffic safety through safety education, through training, through publicity and research in cooperation with all of you our stakeholders here gathered. These road traffic safety awards reflect our appreciation of the role the media plays in taming the traffic jungle in Zimbabwe. The overall aim of the awards is to enhance an in-depth appreciation of the critical role of the media in taming the traffic jungle in Zimbabwe, and hence contribute towards continuous reduction of deaths, 
continuous reduction of injuries and loss of property due to road traffic crashes. The main objectives are to reward excellence in road safety reporting. The outstanding journalists walked away with prizes from various categories. I'm really happy to be honored at this prestigious event. Uh, it's such an honor for me and I would like to thank Traffic Safety Council for giving me this award for judging that I'm the best student journalist and I would like to urge other media students from higher tertiary institutions from around the country to report about road safety because as we all know information is power and together we can help save lives. I'd like to extend my gratitude to the Traffic Safety Council for recognizing our work, for recognizing what is happening on social media. Against all odds, whereby people will be posting their jokes on social media, uh, it is important that people post it positive things about what is happening in, within our society, including issues to do with um, uh, road accidents. I'm so happy that I managed to get two gongs tonight. For the One is for the best radio journalist of the year 2019, and the other one is also for the minister's overall award for the best journalist in 2019. So this was my first time me entering these awards and it's quite a privilege that I managed to get these two gongs tonight. The event was also attended by legislators who encouraged their counterparts to take road safety awareness campaigns to their respective constituencies. We have learned quite a lot, we have noted quite a lot, and especially the issue of uh, road accident fund. I've discovered that is something that we can do, that we can do as Zimbabweans. The private sector, the government, they can come up together and come up with a road accident fund that is quite very solid. An appeal was made to law enforcers to apply stiffer penalties to those who flaunt road rules and regulations. As we go back to the parliament, in the parliament of Zimbabwe, as a portfolio committee, transport, tinyanyo ongorore, shkuru sepa mitemo, ino prohibita vanu, kutuwa sapinde mkatime njodzi, kuburiza ne negligence, kura wakuti kanapashipu wama fines, kanapashipu wama mirao, inge iri a bit stiff to discourage vanu wano driver. Nenzira, ya wana nguwa chukwa nsaku driver, wasiri very careful. Some serious road traffic offenses like driving through red traffic lights or driving without a license must not have an option of a fine but custodial sentence. Killing a person or people due to driver's negligence must not be regarded culpable homicide but murder. Shonga unovava, do unorapa. Kuba mombe muna anotonge wa makore matana atu kana kudarika. Asi, atika muna akafa, onzi badala muribu yomare. Tinofara na onarebo mechiza, onarebo mchangwa, nemimose muribano. 
Makoshe sa kufamba kusina njodi mungu wa yedu. Tiu direo ve matan. Kuti mteme mungu wa wanga ichkise. Jichkise. Kuti wano para moshanje. Vachkise. We want road safety actors. No spectators. We are road safety champions. I am Mafio Bako. And I am Mateo Bako. From Moffat Primary School. Thank you. As you have just witnessed, this is the seventh edition of our Road Traffic Safety Journalistic Awards, which is growing in leaps and bounds. We are actually oversubscribed over this particular edition. Why? People are increasingly getting conscious about the need for road safety for everyone, every organization, every individual family, every church. And what's more, we invited as the guest of honor the Honorable Minister of Information, Publicity and Broadcasting Services, while the host minister is our own Honorable Minister of Transport. But we said we cannot be selfish about road safety. We want other ministers, other high government officials to come and grace our occasion. By so doing, we are cross-pollinating ideas and generating that particular theme that you have just witnessed towards inculcation of collective road safety consciousness through generation of thinking road users. So Honorable Senator Monica Mutrangwa was gracing this particular occasion. And actually, it dawned on here of the need for the media for attending the fourth state every one of them to be trained in defensive driving as long as they are qualified drivers what's more they need to have space free to air space through our media channels in Zimbabwe because road safety is everyone's benefit the only profit we make out of road safety is when we have zero deaths zero loss of injuries zero loss of property on on our roads we also are very grateful that we extended an invitation to the honorable minister of state for Harare Metropolitan in province who could not be with us but seconded a high official from his office. Why? This is supposed to be the way to go. The political commitment towards eradication of road deaths is assured in Zimbabwe. We are also calling upon every other stakeholder that investment in road safety is the best kind of social corporate investment. Another call is to the media fraternity themselves. We want more entries from female participants. Why are females not coming through? Because we are strong believers in equity, gender equity and equality, these two. It applies to our roads as well. Women can be better or safer drivers than men. So we want them to come up and champion. Shikuru akuzi kufema, shikuru kufunga, tika ngodaro chete, nopo muno tsauna jinji, ziru kupitika murodi ya kagadziru wayacho. Sinuwa rewa kuti, roti zinu kuna unge zaka shata, ziru kufana ugadziru. Asi zaka naka zacho, vwa nduma waru kufila murodi ya kanaka ii, ye plum trip inda kwa mtari. So sinuwa rewa kuti wanu warungo fema, vangu waru kudelera, vangu wanu tipai, vangu wendoku driver zupuku, hati misu kune mapurisa, kudelera chaiko chaiko. Musa delera kana tiripa mkwagwa. Chikuru, hakusiku fema, chikuru kufunga. Thank you for watching Economic Forum. Remember, the first step towards reducing road carnage begins with a change of the mindset. Safety first, there is no second chance. That's all we had for you on this week's episode of Economic Forum. From me, Cynthia Shikaramba, and the crew behind the scenes, happy viewing.